Good morning, my name is Solomon Ueda. I'm with Sigler Guff based uh, in the United States of America and here we are at the Super Returns 2013 in beautiful Abu Dhabi. And with me I have Fida Haddad from Mubadala GE. Thank you for uh, talk, taking the time to talk to us. Could you introduce yourself please? Thank you Solomon. Uh, Fida Haddad from Mubadala GE Capital. Um, I work as part of the structured finance team leading buyouts financing for structured credits across the, the MENA region for Mobile GE Capital and happy to be here with you Solomon. Great, happy to be here too. Could you tell us uh, briefly what, what, is, uh, what are you trying to do here and what is uh, Mobile GE trying to do in the region? Yeah sure, Mobile GE Capital is a specialist financier trying to replicate the GE Capital model in North America, okay. US. Uh, what we do here is essentially two main streams. We support private equity in terms of buyouts, financing and growth capital and anything that's a little bit difficult for standard local banks. And the other part of our business is SME financing, predominantly focused on the equipment finance and our focus in the region is to be more than just money. So could you give us an example of some of the transactions you would like to do? So typical transactions we would do would fall into sort of three main areas. On the SME side we support companies looking to grow by buying machinery mm -hmm. so we will provide the finance for okay. equipment and so forth whether it be from transportation logistics healthcare or even a printing press we provide the equipment finance on that so the more structured with the private equity companies like an abrage or, or golf capital where we would provide either the finance as mm -hmm. part of the LBO or finance for their companies to support their growth capital ambitions okay. so the two extremes in terms of but a very niche specialist financier now one of the things that I understand you do is, will be dividend recaps and these are very common in the United States. Uh, I'm not sure they're as common here in the region so that's a kind of a big challenge for you. How are you trying to overcome that and what's your it's the big task? You're right. Yeah, dividend recaps is a, is a controversial word. Uh, telling a credit person that the equity is going to be paid out before the debt will make credit people cringe. That's right. And it's not something people are used to in this part of the world, whereas in, in Europe and North America, it's, it's quite common. I think we've come from a specialist approach, mm -hmm. living on our heritage with G Capital. Our thesis is if private equity investors cannot do an IPO or cannot sell a business because there's limited M&A activity, how else are they going to return money right. to their investors? So dividend recaps is not an exit strategy, but a strategy to return cash to their investors. Not many banks here understand it or get it and, and question why would you borrow money to pay yourself a dividend. So there is a big education process that we have to do with partner banks, but the good private equity firms, they get it. Absolutely, that it will absolutely help their IRR. So, absolutely. I mean, that's, uh, that's a great way, and I think, as you said, it will be a task to go forward. Yeah. That's excellent. Uh, I'll have you one last question. Sure. We're both from Lebanon, both left almost at the same time, but yep. dif at different times on our age. Where did you end up immigrating? Uh, ended up moving to Australia. Australia, that's and I ended up moving to the United yeah. States, but it's great to see you. Yeah, but I lived in China as well, so. I didn't live in China, I lived in England, so maybe it's different. So but it's anyway, good. thank you very much for being with us, no and I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Great.